Hey guys, Automotive Garage back today. We got this 06 F250 60 here that's got a uh, no start when hot. Uh, truck will crank up and run fine right now. You can drive it about 15 minutes, starts losing power. If you drive it hard, it's not gonna start back up and you're barely gonna limp it back home at that point. So we got a high pressure oil leak somewhere that we narrowed it down to. And I wanna show y'all this cool tool that I just recently bought not too long ago that uh, is a good air test tool for checking this high pressure oil system. It's better than going through the ICP sensor. Let me show you all this from Accurate Diesel. So this is your IPR test tool. It screws into the IPR. It's got this really nice valve on it. You just hook your shop air to it. It's just like doing the ICP, but this takes the IPR out of the loop and fixes it where you get an even amount of air to both uh, high pressure oil rails on each head to uh, test the system and find out where your leak is. Quick, the other thing I'm using here, which is from Accurate Diesel also, is this uh, IPR socket. Uh, I haven't had one of these. This will be the first time I've used this socket. It'll be it'll be nice having that with the uh, turbo on to use that. So let me show y'all real quick what you remove to get to it and uh, how this goes. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go after is the degas and taking our uh, air intake all off here first. Can't even bolt it on right there. So there's your IPR. Let me get you where you can see it. Right there. Got that little, I can't get my light there to show you. There's the electric plug. You flip that little thing down and unplug it. And then we're gonna slide that socket over it where it has the open, gonna run the electrical connector. Unscrew that, screw our air tool into it, pressurize the system, listen for leaks. And it's gonna point us in the direction of, do we gotta go after the high pressure oil pump? Is it on one side of the, the motor or another? Uh, which, which side is gonna point us in the right direction? So let's get this IPR off. So there you can see our IPR socket on there. I've got my wobble, a six inch extension and my three eighths ratchet. Um, sometimes these are pretty tight. So if it is, you can use your adapter and go to a half inch ratchet there. So that's it in use. I'm gonna break it loose. There's no way for me to get the camera here because my big hands will be in the way. So uh, we'll catch up when I get it out. So we got the IPR out. You can see the screen is pretty clean, very minimal amount. Of little stuff on it and i pulled it out carefully so i didn't get trash on it so i know if it was clean or not because uh this is not the original motor in this truck from the story that i've gotten it uh this truck has two hundred twelve thousand miles on it and uh when they bought it they bought it from a mechanic and uh he said he put a motor in it it is studded and the block is painted all nice and blue down there so i mean i'm sure it has been out 
question is, is how clean were they and how right did they do everything? So let's see what we got here when we air test it. Got the IPR air test screwed in. Went really easy. Ran the hose right there at the back of the intake. Came over the ficum that's unbolted here. It's sticking out right here. And I was able to just twist this in and thread it in real easy, kind of like doing a compression tester on a gas burner. So let's hook our air up. All right, got shop air hooked up to it. And this is a really nice valve made in Germany. And I actually took a, uh, a male air plug off of one of my other air tools that I know does not leak because you don't want to have an air leak here confusing you listening for stuff. So let's open this up and see what we get. Sometimes it takes a minute. So I've had my air on it for at least 10 minutes now. It's got 160 pounds sitting here on it. I've not heard the first bit of air. So this is a no start hot. So I did let the truck idle for a good 10, 15 minutes before I started work on it. So I don't know if it was completely up to temp. I didn't actually look, but uh, I did get it warm because I wanted the oil to be warm in here and stuff to be warm to say about the leak. But as you can see, I have no air sound coming out of the oil fill. I got nothing coming out of my crankcase vent. I don't hear anything. The little bit that you hear is right here at this joint. I hear nothing else. So while I was sitting here waiting for an air sound or discover a, a leak, found this nice aluminum foil wrapped the IPR pigtail back there. You can see it's two white wires there and we got some electric tape all bandaged up here, some more factory harness. We got another joint there. When I was undoing the ficum, uh, those back bolts back there for the bracket, don't focus, weren't even threaded in. So the ficum was just kind of bouncing around back there at the back. Uh, I did not unplug these two plugs to the ficum here. They just fell right out. So I'm wondering if we had, as this thing got hot and ex everything expanded a little bit, this vibrated around some, maybe we were getting a bad ficum connection. Uh, not really sure. Um, we'll check this IPR wire pigtail out here. We're going to address that bracket, make sure that these plugs lock into the ficum the correct way. Uh, if we don't have an air leak, we're going to put it back together and try it after checking all this stuff out and making sure those are plugged in good and see what we got. So, but this is why you test everything. This is why you test and you diagnose and you don't just start throwing parts at it and taking it apart and say, well, it's got a no crank hot. So something's wrong with the high pressure oil system and test it, uh, and, and see what you got. So I'm going to check this stuff out and I'll get back with you. So I uncovered that fantastic electric tape job there. And this is what I found. What the hell is even that? That is some high quality wiring right there. Let's not solder it. Let's not put a butt connector on it. Let's not uh, heat shrink it, but let's not do anything. Let's just wrap it loosely in some electric tape and let it just kind of flop around together here. Jeez. All right, uh, I'm gonna unwrap the rest of this, see what other kind of mess we have. Uh, fix this right. We're gonna keep the air test going while we're doing this and uh, see what the story is. All right, so we've had our air on here for a little while. And like I said, this is a, a no crank hot. So it's a little bit harder to trace the leak by sound because it's not gonna be a wide open leak as if you had a, uh, a no crank cold or a no crank anytime at all. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not, but right here at the crankcase vent. We got a hiss there on this valve cover. All right, now you can hear that air better. I got my mirror sitting right down there. Don't see it. Poured a little bit of oil and it's right there where the nipple goes in the top of the injector there. So we're gonna pull this high pressure oil rail off on this side. We put a new Motorcraft OEM injector in this uh, cylinder here, front cylinder, where it was leaking. Um, we actually went on and uh, put a new nipple cup and Viton O-ring in the high pressure oil rail. I'm sorry I didn't show it. Uh, new dummy plug, new standpipe also on this side since we removed it. 
Uh, it's always good to just replace those while you're here doing it so you don't have any more potential for leaks. Um, preferably, I would have liked to have done all the nipple cups on this side and didn't done all the injectors along with this. The customer did not want to spend that money. He's wanting to literally fix the truck and get rid of it. Um, so now we have air pressure tested. We left it on here for a good, probably closer to 40 minutes. Uh, pressure tested, it had no leaks at all. I made sure I had some oil on the, on the injector and all over the rail in case it was trying to bubble so you'd hear it bubbling a little bit. So that's done. We're gonna start putting stuff back together with the, I don't know if I mentioned this in any of the earlier clips, but the IPR wiring was weird. So I fixed that, uh, butt connected it, heat shrinked it and wrapped it up with some Tesla tape. Um, we had a couple different things going on with it, but we definitely had a high pressure oil leak when hot. So this should have fixed our problem with that. So we're gonna get it together and see what we got. Hey Gary. Hey. How are you doing? Putting racing oil in it. Racing oil. And by racing oil, he means Motorcraft 1030, which we had to go pick up, couldn't get delivered. Yeah. Why? Because of <laughs> <laughs> Everything's on shortage. Can't get nothing. Nobody's got Rotella T6. We were gonna put the T6 540 like we usually do in the 6 O's, and uh, ain't nobody got any. Uh, nobody's even had 1540, which I really didn't want to use anyways, but went to Ford. This was the last of what they had at Homer Skelton and Millington. So uh, it's all back together. Like we said, we did the new nipple cup with a new Viking O-ring, a new Motorcraft injector on cylinder two. Um, put everything back together, fixed the IPR pigtail that was messed up. Got this on charge because the truck has been sitting a little while because I know we're gonna have to crank it to get high pressure oil built back up. We're gonna hook our computer up and see what she does. All right, we're hooking up our auto ingenuity. All right, ICP, IPR, Fickham Sync, Fickham Main Power. This will change the one that's communicating with the injectors. This has got to hit 500 to start, and this is probably going to be, because there's a whole lot of air in the system, it's probably going to be dumping max at 83% or whatever right now. bunch of air in the system let it rest for just a second So we went and drove it for a little while. Everything's still here. We got our oil temp 194, our coolant temp 189, uh, ICP, IPR. Uh, we're gonna cut it off. Make sure that it cranks hot because we went and drove it and kind of ragged on it a little bit. Let it sit for just a second. So we're good to go. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video on using this cool tool here from Accurate Diesel. If you got a 6.0 or even if you have a 7.3, uh, this isn't quite as critical on it, but really good diagnostic tools. They got good parts. They got O-rings for injectors. Uh, they got your STC fittings. They got uh, OEM Ford injectors. They got everything you need at Accurate Diesel and they're really good people and they ship really fast and I think their prices are really fair also. So I was really just wanting to show how good that air test diagnostic tool works, especially on six liters for testing everything. So after we did this, that's what's so cool is you can fix whatever problem you have, or if you put a whole new set of injectors in, or if you reseal the whole high pressure oil system on here, you can air test that, double check everything before you put it back together and guarantee yourself you don't have leaks pretty much. So uh, this automatic garage signing out. Y'all like, subscribe, comment, check us out at Facebook, Instagram, and Rumble. Go check out all of our other videos. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You can see we have new videos coming out. We got the shop build going on right now. Go check out the shop getting built. 
hopefully that'll be done here in the next six to eight weeks altogether. Uh, we should be done. I'm going to be waiting on my garage doors, however, because they're, they're way back on back order, just like most other things are right now. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll hot y'all later.